Hello, my beautiful people. You're welcome to Naho Blessed Fashion. We are going to be making a female pants trouser today with side pocket. This is the pattern drafting tutorial. I'm going to drop the link to the sewing tutorial in the description box and in the comments section. Okay. If you're new here, you're welcome. Please subscribe to join this family. Okay. And turn on your notification bell. Thank you. To start, I'm going to come in by four inches from the side and create a straight line okay and then at the upper part i'll come down by two inches and create a straight line those are my starting lines okay next i'm going to place my tape one and a half inch above the starting line okay one and a half inch above for my band we are going to be cutting the band separately and then i'll mark my waist to hip which is nine inches and my waist to my crotch depth my crotch depth is round hip divided by four plus one but for me i'm going to add half inch extra for ease that is optional you can also just sit on a chair and take your crotch depth next i will mark my waist to my nail okay and then my waist to my trouser length plus two inch for hemming allowance i'll mark the same thing here just so i get a straight line okay so one and a half inch above the starting line and then my hip measurement my crotch depth my waist to nail my nail is 20 and then my trouser length is 40 plus two inch for him in allowance i'll go ahead and create a straight line just like this my hip measurement my crotch depth okay my nail line and my trouser length okay plus two inch for him in for folding at my crotch line, I'm going to mark my round hip measurements divided by four. I'll mark the same thing at my waist line. Okay, let me label this line for more clarity. So the first one will be my waist line, my hip line, my crotch line, my nail line, and my trouser length. Okay. So like I said, I have my hip measurement divided by four at my crotch line and my waist line. So I'll just create a straight line. I'll connect it just like this. Okay. So um, I'm going to take my round tie measurement divide by two at my crotch line. Okay. Make sure this crotch extension is not less than 1.75. Okay mine is two inches if yours is less than 1.75 you can adjust it okay and then i'll connect the tie measurement to my hip line but before then i'm going to take i'm going to go out by one and quarter inch from this angle okay this is just to help me not to curve to make too much curve in that area okay so you just want to curve it a little bit not too much so when you take that measurement it will help you okay yeah Next, at my waistline here, I will eliminate my dart. This trouser is not going to have dart, okay? So we are going to eliminate it. But if you don't want to eliminate your dart, you go in by half inch from this hip line, go in by half inch and connect to the hip line just like this, okay? So, but me, I'm going to eliminate my dart. So I'll go in by one and quarter inch, one and quarter inch, then I'll connect it to my hip line. I'll connect it just like this. So with this, you have eliminated, you have removed your dart. But if you want to place your dart, like I said, just go in by half inch instead and connect to the hip line. Okay. So this trouser is not going to have that. We have removed the dart. Next from the new line, not the old line, not the hip line. Okay. The new line we have now, I'm going to, from that line, I'm going to mark my waist measurements divide by four waist measurement divided by four i have it there i'm going to connect it to my hip line just like this okay connect it with a little curve just like this i hope this is clear and then at my crotch line i'm going to take the midpoint okay i'm going to divide what i have at the crotch line by two and mark it down just like this okay so the measurement i have there i'm going to place it at my nail line as well and i'm going to place it at the um the trouser length as well 
and then I'll create a straight line just like this. Next, I'm going to divide my round hip measurements by four and then minus half inch from what I have. Round hip measurements divide by four minus half inch. And what I have, I will divide it equally on both sides of this horizontal line. Divide it equally, that's at my nail line, okay? Divide what you have equally on both sides. Then at the trouser length, because I want it to be open a little bit, I'm going to add half half inch on both sides. From the measurement I have at my nail line, I'm going to be adding half half inch on both sides for the hem line, okay? If you want your trouser to be straight from the nail line, you just mark the same measurement you have at the nail line. But I added half inch for mine. If you want it to be penciled, you reduce the measurement you have at the nail line. I hope that is clear. So I'm just going to connect the measurement I have there. Okay. I'm just going to connect that measurement to my nail measurements, my nail line measurements, just like this. Guys, please help me like this video. It means so much to me. Okay. Help me like the video and drop a comment. I will really appreciate. Okay. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you. And I'm going to connect my nail to my crotch line, just like this. My nail to my crotch line, just like this. Okay, you can actually make it straight. Make sure it's not too sharp at this end. Okay, and then next I will connect my nail to my crotch extension. Please watch how I place this um, French cuff. Okay, so you place it just like this. Make sure you place it just like this, okay? I'm going to come down with half inch from the waistline, okay? And then connect it to the side. Half inch from the waistline, from the center front. Half inch, come down by half inch and connect it to the side just like this. This will help our trouser sit nicely on the stomach area. And don't forget, we are going to raise our center back with one inch. Moving on to the back pattern, at the crotch line, I'm going to, from this hip measurement here, I'm going to go in by 0 0.75, okay? Come in by 0 0.75, and then at the waist line, I'm going to go in by 2 inches, okay? That's where our center back is going to start. I'll connect the points just like this. So this is our center back. I'm going to go up by one inch from the center back, like I said earlier. Okay, and then I'll connect it, blend it just like this. So this is our center back. I wish I have a different color of marker, but um, I'll just use my pen for more clarity, okay? So from the center back at the crotch line, I'm going to take my uh, round hip measurement divide by four. Okay, and then I'll add 0 0.75 for ease. I'll add 0 0.75. Okay, I hope that is clear. And then I'm going to take my round waist measurement from the, from the center back just like this. Please watch me carefully from the center back. I'll make sure I slant it in a way that um, it will meet up with the uh, front with the side front um, line okay so take my round waist measurement divide by four there and then <coughs> connect it just like this i hope you saw the way i slant it okay and then i'll connect my waist measurement to the hip measurement at my crotch line guys if i'm not saying it right please watch me carefully i'm very sure you will not miss it okay so connect it just like this with a cuff okay this is for our back piece i'm using my pen here so that you know the difference okay so from this from the center back at the crotch line from the center back line i will mark my round hip measurement divide by 10 that is the back crotch extension round hip measurement divide by 10 okay and then i'll connect it just like this 
Next, I'll connect my crotch extension to my hip line at the center back, okay? My crotch extension, the back crotch extension to my hip line at the center back. Please watch me carefully, you understand, okay? Next, our back piece is always bigger than the front piece, okay? So I'm going to be adding half half inch on both sides at the knee line and at the trouser length, okay? On both sides. Add half half inch. Sorry, at this point, I am adding the half inch from the starting line, not from the um, the front line. Sorry, it's a mistake. I'll correct myself later. I'll connect the back crotch extension to the half inch at the nail line that I added. Just like this. This is for our back piece. Okay. Then I'll connect the half inch at the, at the nail line to the crotch depth line the crotch depth line just like this okay next i'll connect the nail to the trouser length like i said i didn't take that half inch from the right place but i'll correct myself we'll do that together okay i'll connect my nail to my trouser length just like this so I'll correct myself now. The half inch I came out with for the back piece is supposed to be at the front um, front piece line, okay? Not at the starting line. I made a mistake. I marked it from the starting line instead of my right measurement, my front piece measurement, okay? So I just correct it as you can see, okay? I'll connect the the nail to the um i'll connect the nail to the crotch line just like this as well so we are actually done with our front and back pattern we will be adding the sewing allowance on the fabric okay i have so many lines here i don't want to confuse you guys so you can trace your front pattern on a fresh um pattern paper okay i can't find my tracing wheel right now okay so i will just cut my back piece just like this after cutting my back piece on my fabric and i'll go i'll go ahead and um cut the front piece don't worry we'll do all of that together okay so this is my back waistline we will also add half inch at the upper part to join it with our band, okay, on our fabric. So I'll just go ahead and cut my back pattern. As you can see, I'm following the back pattern, right? Watch me carefully. There's something I will do here. So um, I'm not going to follow the back crotch line. This is the back crotch line, right? But that's not what i'm going to follow i'm going to follow the front crotch line okay so i'm going to follow the front front crotch line then we are going to um cut it out later before cutting our back piece okay then after cutting our back piece we are going to tape it back and cut our front piece don't worry we'll do that together so this is my front waistline i'm going to um cut that out too watch me carefully okay so if you don't have your tracing um pen just do what i did here okay so this is our back pattern with our um, front um crotch line so we are going to cut all of this out before cutting our front piece don't worry okay i'll go ahead now and cut this crotch depth i'm going to follow the um, back crotch line now so this is our back crotch line this is our center back i'm cutting now okay this one is the center front i will tape it back when i'm ready to cut the front piece so i fold my fabric into two we are going to be cutting the two back piece together okay so i'm adding half inch at the upper parts we are going to join it allowance to join it with the band 
and then i will add one inch at the crotch line that's the center back okay that's where our zipper is going to be so the one inch is for our zipper guys i don't know why my phone is just zooming in and zooming out i'm so sorry about that okay so i don't know what is happening um i'm going to be adding half inch at the um the center back just like this okay so the crotch line i added one inch because of our zipper allowance right so i'm going to be adding one inch at the side so one inch at the side but remember it's half inch at the center back right i'm so sorry about that i'm just cutting it out now it's going to zoom out by itself okay so i have my half inch at the side my one inch at the crotch um area that's the center back and then my one inch at the side guys nobody is touching my phone no i don't know what is happening just on his own okay we are done with the back back piece okay so we have our two back piece right now next we are going to um to tape back the front crotch line okay so i'm just going to place it together make sure the hip line align right and make sure the waistline align you can just trace it like i said just trace your front piece so that you have your front piece separately right so now i'm cutting off the um back pattern um uh, allowance okay so this is part of our back pattern i'm just cutting it out so that we'll have our exact front um pattern okay so and this is my um front waistline okay so this is our front pattern i'll fold my fabric into two again and place it just like this i'm just trying to manage my fabric so um this time the crotch line will be half inch like i said the back was one because of our zipper allowance so now the crotch area will be half inch the the center fr um front will also be half inch but the side which i'm cutting now is one inch okay just the same thing with the back piece so only the side is one inch okay the center part is the center side is half inch so this is my back piece my two back pieces okay and this is my front pieces my two front pieces okay okay loves i'm going to be dropping the sewing tutorial separately don't worry we are going to sew it together okay it's going to be a separate video this video is long already so subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss out okay thank you so much for watching guys i love you all and i will see you all in my next video god bless you bye